the high calling of God. Paul said, listen, that he, 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 he wanted to apprehend that which he was apprehended for. And he wasn't talking about his apostleship. Now, was he an apostle? Yeah. But was that the high calling? No. Did God apprehend him so he could be an apostle? No. God apprehended Paul so he could live eternally and not die. And now Paul wanted to apprehend that which he had been apprehended for. Now, out of his union with God, he had a grace gift for apostleship. Right? And he flowed in that gift. Right? But that was not the high calling that God had on his life. And so it helped us if we would, we would see that. Yeah. Right? We, we've so perverted the scriptures. We perverted the Great Commission. The words Great Commission aren't in the Bible. That doesn't mean we won't preach the gospel. It's just that man doesn't understand how the seed reproduces after its own kind. And so we think that co-laboring with God is about how we have to be commanded to do something. Right? We, we don't see how a person out of their union with God could just feel a desire and a passion to preach. Right? We don't understand that. So then we think, well, he told us to go into all the world. Well, he didn't tell you to go into all the world. I don't see where it says, Jay Jenkins, you must go into all the world. <laughs> right, me neither. It doesn't say that. Now, if you want to go into all the world, glory to God. Do you see how we read ourselves into that text? Yeah. He's talking to specific people there. First of all, the people he's talking to already want to go into all the world. Or they already want to preach. But there's a big problem, and I said this a million times, but it helped us with our evangelism, and since John brought it up about ministry, I'll just say how it is. The Jews thought God was only for them. That the Gentiles were outside of the promise, the covenant of the promise. It was a very big deal to now even suggest that the Gentiles could be partakers of the covenants of promise. That's why Paul said the enmity that was between the Jews and the Gentiles, had been, there was enmity. And so when Jesus says, go into all the world, he's talking to a people that, A, they already want to preach, right? They already followed him. But now he's telling them, listen, this message is not only for Jewish people. This message is for all people, right? And so it's more about Jesus declaring that the message is for all people. Don't keep this message for the Jew. Don't confuse this message to be only for Jewish people. This message is for Jews and Gentiles, right? So you sit with a desire to preach. When you go and preach, preach to all people, not just Jewish people, right? Mm -hmm. That's one of the, that's the primary thing going on, there, yeah. right? Yeah. He's not trying to <coughs> give a command in the sense that we think of it, right? Where we build whole schools. I think Wyoming, youth with the mission. Their whole mission is based on the Great Commission. they got the Great Commission everywhere. The Great Commission everywhere. The Great Commission everywhere. Listen, Paul didn't say he preached because he was commanded to preach. What did Paul say? I've been arrested by the love of Christ for all people. That's what he said. Woe is me, he said, if I preach not the gospel. Right? Does that sound like a guy who's been commanded? Now, do you think there's a difference between a guy who's preaching because he's been arrested by the love of Christ for all people and a guy that thinks he's been commanded that he must? Do you think that looks different? <coughs> do you yes. think that the people being <coughs> preached at feel the difference? The difference? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Right? Yeah. And so I hope everybody can understand what I'm saying. I'm not saying we won't preach. I'm not saying it's evil to preach. I'm not saying it's evil to evangelize. What I'm saying is, is that we, like most things, have turned something that's born from the Spirit and tried to interpret it after the flesh and tried to bring it about through our own desire, our own willpower, our own means, instead of trusting the Spirit to bring forth in people the gift of evangelism, right? Or a desire to preach. Does that, does that make any sense? Yes. And so then we get people up in the ministry thing where they're judging themselves, right? No, I'm saying it just kind of reminds me of Cindy. Cindy 